When automatically generating Google Slides decks, dynamically replacing pictures unlocks a lot of possibilities. For example, if you want to add a client logo, change the picture of a team member, or add a background. This tutorial will teach you how to update pictures in your Google presentation using N8N. The N8 Ninja is on a mission to liberate 1,000 souls from bullshit tasks, freeing up your time and energy so you can focus on what truly matters and bring value to the world. Nothing will stop her. Hello, dear crafters. I hope that you are doing very well. I apologize, but this video will be a bit technical. This is why I need your full attention, but don't worry. You can find the full workflow in the links in the description. In this tutorial, you will learn how to dynamically replace a picture in Google Slides. There is no built-in node to do this in N8N, so we will have to be clever and find our own way with the HTTP request node. We will combine that with some JavaScript code. What we will build is an API entry point that you can call from another workflow, but also from your app or from anywhere on the internet. I like to craft my workflows as APIs because of the interoperability they offer by design. Let's start with Google Slides. I quickly designed a sample introduction slide for a client offering. The N8 Ninja logo should not change, but the client logo should be dynamic. To do so, we need to flag this image so we can identify it later in our workflow. Select it. Click on Format Options. In alt text, we can name it as we want. I will name it Client underscore Logo. We are done with this part. Now let's build our workflow step by step. We start with the webhook trigger. Then we need to retrieve all the elements from our Google Slides. For this, we need the HTTP request node. Then we will need to do some filtering. For this, we will use the code node. Then we will request Google Slides to proceed with the image replacement. And finally, we conclude with a response to the webhook. Okay, our flow is done. Now let's dive in step by step. First, in the webhook node, we set the method to post. We can change the path to something meaningful. Let's try it. We can use Postman, a very handy and free tool, to perform HTTP requests and paste our API URL. We change the method to post. Fill in the data we need for our workflow to function. The first parameter we need is the slide ID. We can find this in the URL of our Google presentation. The second parameter we need is the image underscore key. We use the client underscore logo as we defined in our presentation. And the last parameter is the image underscore URL, where we paste the URL of the image we want to use. For this example, I will use the Ubisoft logo. Let's run the request, and we can go back to our N8N workflow. As expected, we have the slide underscore ID, the image underscore key, and the URL in the request body. We can move to the next node, the HTTP node. The goal of this step is to find all the elements that compose the Google presentation. To do this, we will directly request the Google Slide REST API. We chose predefined credentials and selected our Google Slide credentials. In the URL, we insert the Google Presentation URL and drag and drop the slide underscore ID from our previous node to the end of the URL. We can test it. We see that we receive a large JSON object that contains all the data from our presentation. This is where the tricky part begins. We need to parse this big object and find in all the slides all the images that contain our image underscore key in their description. Don't worry, you can find the code in the description of the video. And it's not that hard. Let's take a quick look at our code node. This JavaScript function will loop through all the objects in the presentation, and it will search for our image underscore key. It returns an array of object ideas, one for each image we want to replace. With this array of objects, we can jump to the last step, where we will replace the images. We will once again use the HTTP request node, still with the ID of our document and with the batch update method but this time we will use the post method. We need to add a body to our request in which we will pass the instructions to replace the image sources. We fill it with a JSON that tells Google to replace the images with the URL we have provided. I will not detail the content of this, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. And that's it. We just added a response to the webhook node to conclude our workflow. It's time to test. Let's press that big orange button and close our eyes for a few moments, connecting with our inner peace or inner mess, whatever. And ta-da, our image has successfully been replaced in our presentation. Thank you for watching. I hope that the N8 Ninja could be helpful to you. If you want to support her work, thumb up and share this video. If you have any questions or workflow requests, drop a comment. And if you want to stay tuned, subscribe to our channel. Let's keep building and see you around 
dear crafters.